welcome back to my channel my name is caro if you are new to my channel you are highly 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 welcome and if you are my regular my vvip i say thumbs up there your love your comments makes the channel keep growing so today we're going to be working on a simple bridal mermaid dress as you can see on your screen guys. this is the full skin bodies this x that i marked here it shows the difference between the front full front length and the back length so that's what i made here even if you are drafting it on a full scale guys so this difference is what is creating this boss uh, that around this area all in the excess of removing keeping is all this extent that we are doing so for this round that you are seeing is what we call the bust radius it actually gives you a full covering that's what it indicates for you though you can always come down but in this case it shows where uh, your full chest is so this is the bust radius where it stops at the upper side and this is where it stops at the under bust so to be able to get what we call the bust radius is the difference between your bust point and your under bust and if you want to get it accurately you can measure it on your client's body you just place your tape at the bust point and measure it under the wire of the bra under the bust so it gives you the accurate bust radius in this kind of style you have to tell your client to wear a good bra to lift up their bust area to be able to get your accurate measurements now for this particular uh, uh, dress that we are making we are stopping at the stomach line that's what we call the navel area that's where we are stopping on this pattern that's, that's why we, I have this here and that's why I have this in this line these vertical lines that are marked here, this is the stomach line. So all that is left in this pattern drafting that we're supposed to do is just to alter it. So guys, like I said, we are removing two inches from the waistline, two inches from the stomach line, and two inches from the under bust. And we're going to mark it in between this bust band. This is the bust band that I've marked. I hope you guys can see it on the screen. So I will take it from this point now. Mark one inch here mark one inch here so bring it here mark one inch here mark one inch here when you do this it's like you are tightening the underboss very well so i'm going to mark one inch also here one inch here one inch here then i'm going to connect together so that you guys will see okay okay so I'm going to now connect with my curve to the bust point area, making sure I give a space of half an inch. Okay, so I place on the other side too. And now mark, as you can see. So around the chest area, like I said, I'm removing one and a half inches, so three quarter inch. In between the bust band that I've marked, you can see I marked it straight up. So I'll remove three quarter here, mark three quarter inches here, remove three quarter inches here. So why I'm removing the total of one and a half is because when you remove it, it's tightening if it fits up the chest area because there is always a gaping around the ample, there's always a gaping around the neckline. So by the time you combine every gaping around this area. Is totally about one and a half so I love removing it from one point totally so that's what I've done here so I'm going to connect it to the bus to the bus point area guys so guys I'm going to use marker to indicate it so that you guys can see it properly so the next thing I'm going to do is to reshape my sweetheart neckline the depth of the sweetheart is eight inches so it's going to stop around here so i'm going to give it a smooth a free hand curve okay now from here to reshape to my back you can take it from the boss point if you wish, but I'm going to take it in between the boss point and the ample depth. Okay. 
okay so for the depth of the back i'm going to take it as 10 10 inches you can go below that if you want but you should know that when you are going below you need to tighten the more you go low the more you need to remove gaping so you can do a test fit on your dress from using either your paper or you use your uh, mock-up okay so i'll connect So guys, the next thing is to cut it out, as you can see, but the only thing, if I want to tighten it more, I would have made this place one inch, made this place one inch and remove all the gaping around here, but it's just a simple uh, bridal dress, like I said, so I don't want to tighten it that much, and I would have removed gaping under the bust or at the bust, uh, bust point area, I would have removed half an inch. So guys, the next thing is to cut out, fold up our bust that then cut and open it up So guys, as you can see, I've cut them out. The next thing is to place on this leftover paper, pattern drafting paper, then add my sewing allowances. They will cut our fabric, then iron in some interfacing, then I will show you the position of how to place your bony. Then the next thing is to cut our skirt. So guys, these are the material we're going to be using for our simple bridal wear. This is our satin material. This is a dull face satin material, it's three yards. This is a lining, lining is three yards too. It's a, a polyester lining, we're using polyester lining, three yards. Then this is lace material, it's about half yard, so I just need the armpit from it, which I've started cutting out, as you can see from the screen. Then, this is hair stay the interfacing we'll be using this is the mid interfacing table then this is the cup the round cup then we're going to be using size 8 cup we're making the dress for a size 8 guys we're going to be using zip it's not made in the corset form like i said it's just a simple bridal wear then regulin bony we're going to be using the small size and the big size together so guys, basically, these are the materials. As you can see, I've placed my pattern already. I've folded my fabric. So I'm going to cut and fold. This is the front. So guys, this is the back of the pattern as you can see it's so wide what i would advise in this type of pattern if you are placing it on your fabric you need to calculate it very well to maximize your fabric if not if you cut it anyhow your material will have to have joining so i'm going to cut this one off first then i will now replace it on the other side of the fabric this way then we cut so i'm going to fold it off first
so guys the next thing to do is to repaint your notches then use your hand to smoothen out any excess then you record just like i have done i've repaint the notches i've repaint it then there are excess on one of the side so i'm going to record it now to make it equal so that by the time you sew you won't have any excess so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to turn it you will see it okay so you can see the excess so i'm going to cut it off so the next thing to do now is to open it up remove the pins join the half inch sewing allowance for the zip area then at the one and a half inch zip i will stop around that area then pick the front and the back and join it by one and a half inches that was added so our skirts will be ready so guys we give it some good press we'll hang it as you can see prepared it sewn and thoroughly pressed i'll prepare lining hang it for now i'll prepare the upper side of the dress then the next thing is to join it to the waistline use our lining to turn it so guys the pattern has been prepared as you can see i've added my interfacing i cut out four of it two for the main fabric and two for the lining then i added half inch sewing allowance like i said earlier then two inches for the sewing allowance i can reduce after sewing and fitting or i leave it as it deems fit so the next thing we need to do now is to sew them up join everything together mark our boning channels then we start our coupling So guys, I'll be able to sew the boning channels to the lining as you can see. So I've made the boning channels, three in the middle, each one on each of the panels that I made. As you can see, the one closer to the zip side is going to support it. Then for the chest area, as you can see, I added a quarter inch boning. What this does is that it prevents the bustier or corset. If you put this bony it will prevent it from pulling if you watch some of this uh, instagram party dress pictures or video you will see them using their hand to pull the dress up pulling the dress up so this prevents it if you put some boning around the chest area it prevents it from pulling down so that is the purpose of this so the next thing to do is to add the cup to the lining so you place it this way then you sew it down so that's the next thing to do then this is the main fabric then we use the lining to turn it sew it to the skirts then our dress will be almost true like i told you guys that i prepared the lining then we'll use the lining to turn it so guys as you can see i've turned the lining with the main fabric so and i've added the cup you can see this is the front you can see how relaxed it is on the table so that's how it's going to be on the chest it's going to hold it firm and see that there is no gaping so this is it then this is the cup this is the cup we we'll sewn straight to, to the seam allowance as you can see so the next thing to do like i said i'll prepare the lining this is the lining it was cut on my made skirts i use my free hand cutting method to cut it there's no big deal about it. I have a tutorial on mommy skates on my channel. You can check it out. Then, this is the main skirt, which is ready. The mommy skirt with the tail, the cut together tail. So, the next thing is to join it to the skirts. 
then turn it with the lining add our arm pick then add our zip then our dress will be completed so guys this is the concluding part of our dress as you can see it has a finish then i've added some amplique to it this is the front of the dress this is the inner side of the dress finish up with the lining as you can see guys so what is left is to test fit it and we will be done so guys thank you for watching to the end if you find the video interesting please do not forget to give us a like do not forget to share to a likable mind who are looking for how to make a marriage dress now this technique that is used in this dress can be used for a reception dress can be used for a party dress even an owambe dress thank you guys for watching i will see you in my next tutorial love you guys Bye for now.